Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Money Career Finance Reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate. As those may be meant for someone else. All right, what's going on with Capricorn Finance? Oh, struggling there, right? Because we got the Page of Pentacles, which is reversed. So s struggling a little bit. Let's do let's do the three. All right, so s struggling with finances there. What do you need to look work? Okay, look looking at work, teamwork. Two of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, King of Swords. All right, Nine of Wands. Five of Wands, okay. So I feel like something's not working out for you in the financial category, right? That I feel like either you went to school and you started to take classes or you started to look into doing something but maybe you lost interest, you decided you didn't want to do it anymore, um, that you weren't as invested in it or you're trying to look for a job or you're trying to find a new way for money or you're like struggling with okay just it's not working for me it's it's not happening for me what you need to look at is I almost feel like because this can represent an apprenticeship and I feel like there's a new opportunity that, that there's something else I just feel like with the King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here, I feel like there's something different. Like you're not, the reason why this didn't work out is because this here, it's to push you in this direction for you to see this, for you, for you to try something different. I almost feel like that, I feel this energy of, of pushing you towards this. Um, towards something new something different, something that you weren't expecting. And I feel like don't look at, at this disappointment as that that's the end, but look at it as it freeing up the space, freeing up your mind, freeing up your thoughts to try something different and that you just need to hang in there, right? Because this is the energy that's coming in is you just need to hang in there and don't, don't doubt it and don't question it, right? That if you start to pursue something different, um, that you don't find the reasons to not make it happen. I feel like it's just make sure that you explore it, right? Just to look into it. And if you decide not to do it and that's the best thing for you, that's okay. But I feel like just give it a chance. There's, there's an opportunity coming in that I feel like is kind of out of the norm and I feel like it's just just give it a chance and and don't get frustrated with things not working out for you here because it's like I said it's so that it can clear space for this to come in here all right so we have the woman this could be something that you loved right maybe this is something that you really thought that you had that love and that passion for it and it and it just wasn't working out I don't read reversals on the on the Lenormand Right, taking the steps to better things. It's opening up a new door here. And then I feel that before you give up, I feel like this is something that is going to challenge you and this is something that's going to be different. But I feel like don't give up on it until you've taken a closer look at it and you're sure about your decision that if you decide to walk away, because I feel like this is going to be a little more challenging for you. This opportunity that comes in, it's either going to be something totally different or it's going to be something that uh, that's out of the ordinary or you feel like okay I'm going to have to make a massive commitment here or this is going to be something that's it's just it's something that's so big and so different that I feel like you might try to self-sabotage it or you might try to f talk yourself out of it and say oh it's not going to work or it's not going to happen and I just feel like make sure that you read the fine print and that you're you're sure about your decision that you want to do because I feel like this card here is standing out a lot to me and I feel like it's saying that this is a growth for you, that this is a, a personal growth in many different ways that 
not only did you not get stuck in the negative because this didn't work out over here because it was something that you thought you were going to love or you loved or you enjoyed or you did for a long time and that you want to change but that you didn't give up and that you found new opportunities and that you stayed focused and then you took on challenges that you didn't think that you could have handled before but that you didn't give up and that you challenged yourself and that you've really grown a lot but not only have you have that personal growth I feel like it's definitely I feel like it's financial growth too so it's like and it's it's an experience it's it's a situation that is good for you in many different ways like like I said it's it's a lot of personal growth but I also feel that financially that it works out well for you look at that and look at that we had the page of pentacles that was reversed up here and now the page of pentacles has come out upright um walking away from the insecurities right that you realize that you're not going to hold on to this stuff you see you realize that that stuff is floating around but that like you weren't like you were holding on to things you were holding on to a situation that wasn't working for you you were getting starting to get caught up in that energy and it was almost like he's the page of pentacles is looking at this energy and say yeah like i'm not I was holding on to things that I shouldn't have and I wasn't listening to that inner voice that was pushing me forward, that was telling me, hey, you got to go for it, you got to have change, that this isn't a bad thing, that this is a, a good thing, that it's opening up new doors, it's opening up new possibilities, right? And I feel like it's having that, like I said, it's not only about the opportunity, but it's about those things that working on yourself um, right, not focusing on the negative, that that's reverse, that's upside down, and that you're powerful, I love it, that you're powerful, right, that you're taking hold of the situation, that you've got everything under control, and that you're learning about yourself in so many different ways. Um, again, if this negativity starts to come in, just make sure that you don't get caught up focusing on this and that you still focus on all, all of the positive things and if you decide not to do it that you take a closer look at it and you say hey like if you're focusing on these three spill cups why am I f focusing on that what is that doing oh temperance patience compromise back and forth um I just feel like it's don't give up the choice is yours looking at all sides that's why i said is i feel like because this is such a big challenge for you or this is something that's so big or so different or life changing or it's going to have massive commitment or whatever that thing is that it feels so different but yet it feels right i feel like in this future energy that you're going to question it because we have the five this card and this card and this card i feel like you're going to have those and kind of this card that you're going to have these things, you're going to have these doubts, but I feel like make sure that you, again, take a look at it, that you analyze it and you say, okay, is this something that I'm really feeling or am I self-sabotaging? Am I trying to stop opportunity that's coming in for me? Am I scared about this opportunity? Do I feel overwhelmed by this opportunity? You know, do I truly feel that it's something that's not right for me or Am I just trying to make excuses because I don't want to do the challenge? And then we have the justice cards, which I, I love that. Because again, I feel like with definitely with the Empress and the justice card is that sometimes that we have these instances where it's it's a big change. It's a big switch. It's something that we're not used to. Of, and instead of being afraid of it, that it pushes us to be stronger. And it, like it pushes us to the edge, right? Um, to say, okay... Do I go for it or do I not go for it, right? Do I give up but then kind of had those regrets or do I just go for it and I see what happens and then whatever happens, I, you know, I know that I have that belief and that control and that strength within myself that I know that no matter what happens, I'll be able to work through it. But it was exhilarating because I didn't give up, right? That you kept pushing through, that you kept, you didn't hold yourself back this time. I feel like at this time it's like there's, no holding yourself back and I love that because I feel like it's a challenge for you like I was saying you know it in business and definitely if this is a situation where you have this job and it's important to you and it pays bills and everything to not drop everything and go pursue something else that you haven't done maybe this is something that's on the side but you know I just feel like I feel like this is an opportunity that has failed or has not worked out that 
you were upset about, but this new opportunity that comes in that is big and different, that you start to question it, but you pursue it and you're so happy that you did, that you've learned things about yourself in many different ways. And we have angel of love and I feel like it's loving yourself enough to know that, hey, I can take on this challenge. Hey, I'm not going to let something that didn't work out disappoint me because I'm seeing it as a door opening up for me, not a door that's shutting everything down. We have a woman holding a heart. Again, I feel like it's the love that you have for yourself, the passion that you have for yourself to challenge yourself, right? To bring that excitement into your life for these challenges of either a career or a job or whatever this has to do with money um, that it's like wow you know this is really cool and it definitely with Capricorn you know being the pentacles like Capricorn's you know good with at working as a hard worker is dedicated is you know motivated is is good with money although I'm not so good with money but <laughs> um, it doesn't mean all but I mean I just feel like it's going after those challenges because it's stimulating to have that self-reward and that financial reward and, and that's what makes it makes it good so I feel like it's that love for yourself to have that challenge to challenge yourself and to see things that okay this is just one step further towards a more fulfilling life all right let's grab um, a wisdom oracle we have soulmates um, it, I just feel, again, it's the love that you have for yourself because um, this isn't really focused on relationships. But I just feel like it's that inner feeling like when you do something that you love so much that you don't even feel like you're getting paid for it or that you're so proud of yourself that even though there was a challenge that you hung in there and you didn't give up, right? That if it was something that you wanted to go after, that you went after it. We have Unfinished Symphony. This could be something that you have tried to look into before or you have had opportunities in the past that have come up, but you didn't feel ready and you had walked away. But I feel this this time I feel that you're really strong. I feel like you're really motivated. I feel like you're really dedicated to make this happen and to work this through. And then again, like I said, in the future that if you have those doubts, Really be clear about those doubts. Is it really something that you want to give up on or is it something that you're having that insecurity within yourself that you don't want to pursue it, right? That you're, you're backing away or your subconscious is, is trying to sabotage it. So just something for you to be aware of. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, ha stay safe, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.